Hey. Hello. How are you? Good, good. Thank you so much for waiting. I know I'm a little bit behind here. So thank you for your patience and for coming and hang out with me. You didn't have to do that. Goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, so my first question for you is what got you into voice acting to begin with? Ooh, well, uh, for me and the rest of the Ruby girls, we're kind of unique because we we knew Monty and Monty wanted to make a show uh, that was a passion project for him an anime. And he wanted to involve his friends and coworkers. So he approached us and said, I want to make an anime. And I said, OK, OK, uh, sure. I thought it was a, like, you know, something that might not happen or wouldn't really be possible. So uh, I kind of didn't think much about it until he showed me the first part of the red trailer. And I watched Ruby do even just like a few frames of animation. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like, oh, my, this is amazing. This is going to be something. And then Monty said, like, you know, would you want to audition for this character? And, you know, how can you say no? <laughs> like, like, That's pretty cool. So one thing led to another. And I had done like theater acting and film acting beforehand, but not a lot of voiceover. I grew up next to Funimation in Dallas and I thought it'd be really cool to get involved with that, but I had no idea how it was like a pipe dream and I'm a huge anime nerd. So I was like, eh, I, I don't know. Um, so I auditioned for Ruby, Pira and Blake and then ended up getting the character. And, you know, I guess uh, here we are, it's all history now. So it's, it's a little bit of, like I said, a unique way to get into it. And I do owe Monty everything for sure. Um, but yeah. Do you have uh, a warm-up routine you do before you do your voice acting for the show? I do, actually. Uh, I, I did also used to do a lot of choir. So I do, like, vocal warm-ups. I try and get, like, really warm uh, with my mouth and do, like, lip trills, like, brrr, which I can't do now because I'm tired. That's sorry. It's, I'm like, it's almost 10 o'clock. Bear with me. But uh, <laughs> when I'm awake, I do those. Uh, and then just, like, um, uh, like scales singing, kind of getting your, your vocalization a little bit higher up in your nose. Since with Ruby, it's a little bit more of a clearly nasally register. It's higher pitched than my normal speaking voice, which is like this. And then as far as getting into the character and the physicality of Ruby, because even when you're in the booth and you're voice acting, I highly believe in like physically embodying the character you're playing. Uh, I, I kind of revert to a little bit more of a childlike state because she is younger than me. I'm 30. Uh, and so I, I take off my shoes. I wear socks because I'm not an animal, but <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like freeing and it takes away some of the social restrictions that you have and like the formality of being an adult, you know. Um, and then along with that, I, I think of a, a line that I'll say over and over again that gets into the voice of the character. So usually for her, because it's Ruby, she's bubbly and happy. So it'd be like, hi, I'm Ruby. Hi, how are you? Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> and that that's enough to kind of get into the mindset. In one word, how would you describe season seven of Ruby? Ooh, <laughs> juicy i don't <laughs> so, sure yeah juicy is the best word i'll give you i guess <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh one last question if you are allowed to answer it have you guys yeah. started already recording season eight yeah we have actually um it's been pretty awesome that we can record some stuff from home so i've been able to do a few even just like test audio or temp audio sessions from home and then i'm going back in in a little bit to do a isolated recording which again we have the ability to do now which is awesome where i'm just going to go into a booth by myself and they'll direct me from another place and that's really cool so yeah my friend had one more question and i said i'd try to ask it yes. okay have it. what is your favorite cookie cookie oh i feel like i have to say chocolate chip I feel like that's okay. that's obligatory. Yeah, Thank Lindsay so might like Snickerdoodle, but Ruby Rose likes chocolate chip, so that's where it is. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much again Ruby for Chitty. everything. Oh yeah, of course. I hope you have a wonderful <laughs> night. Take care of yourself. Adieu, and thank you for hanging out with me. You're the best. Yes. Much thank love. You so much. Of okay. course. <laughs> thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Shovers. Come back next week for a brand new episode. And feel free to go on our website to get access to our different social medias, not only for our main account, but for the different series and movies that we have available. And don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon. We go behind the scenes. We go through uh, Zoom meetings with the editors, cast, crew, and more. And feel free to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post content regularly. We currently have Gamer Namian Crew, which is our gaming series. We have Showverse, which is our reviews, interviews, and more. And we have a few short films.